Hi folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to be installing a tailgate net on the back of a pickup truck. Let's get started. Here's the tailgate net I'm going to be installing today. It's pretty basic, just comes from your standard parts store. And here's what we're going to need to install it. I'm going to need a cordless drill. You don't absolutely have to have clear silicon, but I'm going to use some. You need a set of drill bits, a couple of wrenches. Um, you'll have to size those yourself. A center punch and a hammer, some masking tape and a marker, and then of course the hardware that comes with the uh, tailgate net. Those are the brackets that are used to strap it in. The tailgate doesn't have to be off the truck, uh, but it's probably a little bit easier if it is. Normally what you want to do is install these nets you got a lip where the tailgate sits into the bed of the truck. Normally you want to install the net where it sits just inside the tailgate. That way you can use the tailgate, leave it on if you want to, let it down, take it off, whatever, and still have your net up. That way you don't have to take off one or the other. Um, I'm installing this on a 2004 Ford STX truck, F-150. So um, first thing I've got to do is take the tail lights out. Pretty simple, two bolts, and uh, comes right out. Take those two bolts out, <clears throat> tail light comes out, and you can just set it off to the side. The main reason you want to take, or the only reason you really want to take it out is because you have to, on, if, if you can get access to the back of this panel, um, then you can use the uh, nut and bolt that came with the bracket. If you can't get to the back side, which is going to be the case on the top bracket for this particular net, then you have to use a uh, sheet metal screw, sheet metal bolt. With this one, I can uh, I can get to the back side of the panel through that hole on the bottom. I can't get to it on the top, <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to use sheet metal screw on the top part. This particular truck's got a bed liner, so I'm gonna install my brackets just behind the lip of this bed liner. I'll show you that in a minute. First thing you wanna do is take your masking tape. up off to cover the surface where we're going to be working. I'm going to cheat a little bit on this one. I'm just going to bend that that tailgate or that bed liner out of the way so I can get to this surface because I don't want to remove the whole uh, bed liner just to put in a tailgate net and I can give myself plenty of room here. <clears throat> so the way this works you've got these little brackets like so. They uh, they bolt into the surface of the bed like this and then this, there's some straps on the end of the tailgate or the net, yeah the tailgate net that go through here and buckle in. Here's the end of the tailgate net. It's got a strap and then a buckle. And this strap goes through this bracket into the buckle and then you tighten it up, pull it pull it tight so that the tailgate net doesn't flap and blow around in the wind. So you want to make sure you've got these buckles, these uh, brackets in the right place because you want to be able to pull this tailgate net tight. This one's got bars on the built into the net on the edge which will also keep it real good and tight. So the way I want this one to, to sit 
is I want it to sit about a quarter of an inch above the bottom of the the bed because I don't want it right there. I don't want it dragging on the bottom, but I want it just a touch above it, but not much. And uh, that'll put it about at the bottom of the plastic cap on the the top of the bed rail. So I'm gonna need a little bit more tape to get up here on the very top. It's gonna sit higher than I thought, so that's okay. <clears throat> Put a little bit of tape there. Take my sharpie marker and we'll use that to mark the relative location of the brackets and then the specific hole location that I'm going to center punch and drill. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to hold this uh, I'm going to hold this net where I want it like so and I'm going to mark the center of the strap where the strap falls on my tape double check it just hold that up there level and make sure that I'm that I've got a little mark where the center of each of these these tie-in straps fall I want to hold that out like this from the tailgate net and just pull that over to the side of the bed and then behind there I'm going to mark the center mark of that strap or the center line rather of that strap and then I can take my brackets and I can line the, uh, the hole up with the center mark that I made so that this is peeking out from behind the bed liner and then I'll have enough room to get my straps in there so I've got the center marks for the straps marked on my masking tape and now I'm going to mark the center of the holes on these brackets so I know where to center punch and drill. I'm going to line these up vertically with this lift for the tailgate, the back of the tailgate, so that the net sits in the tailgate opening vertically. So I'll just take my center mark that I made a minute ago and line the hole up, the center of that hole up with the center mark and then line the slot up with the opening. Now get this bottom one, since I've got a bed liner in here, it's going to be a little tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple shop rags that I've rolled up into a ball and uh, stick them in this bed liner to open it up so I can get access to this bottom lip here. Just shove that in there, it won't hurt that bed liner because it's going to tuck back up underneath here in a little bit. That'll give me enough room to get my marker in there and get my drill in there. And then just line that up. Make a mark where that hole is and now I know where to center punch and drill. Center punch and a hammer. <clears throat> the reason you want to use the tape couple reasons. Gives you a good place to mark. In case you mess up, you can pull the tape off and mark it again. Um, keeps you from scratching up any other surrounding paint with a center punch if you miss or slip or anything like that. And the easiest way to tear up paint is with a drill bit. Uh, because of, when you go to drill, the drill bit wants to dance around. So the tape, masking tape will help you uh, prevent that. Most of the time the um, instructions that come with a net will tell you what size drill bit to use. If it doesn't, just size it to your bolts. If you're using uh, machine bolts, then 
you're generally going to use the same size bit as the bolt so that it can pass through um, maybe even uh, 30 second larger if you're using a uh, sheet metal screw or sheet metal bolt then you want it to be a little bit smaller than the outside of the threads uh, so that it's got room to bite but uh, with the tape on here just be careful you center punch it you've got your place so you can set your drill bit in the center punch and be pretty confident that it's not going to um, move around <clears throat> but I would still two hand it make sure that it's not going to move I wouldn't put a lot of pressure on it a lot of force behind it either in the in the beginning go ahead and make sure it's not going to walk on you and then drill it in straight the straight and level uh, parallel to the bottom of the bed perpendicular to the side so that the bolt head sits nice and flush when you're done it's probably not going to show or not show much but it just makes for a better insulate installation bottom hole do exactly the same on the other side of the bed and uh, then we'll install the brackets also before you're before you start putting in your uh, brackets once you've gotten your holes all four of your holes drilled make sure you get all of the shavings that are going to fall down in here from the from drilling the holes make sure you get all the shavings out because they'll set in the bed and rust and they'll make a bad spot on your paint so um, just be sure to get all of those out double check underneath you know if you got a bed liner make sure you kind of lift it up and maybe stick your air hose down in there and blow that out or something but uh, just make sure you get all the shavings out make sure on the holes that any shavings that are left sticking around the the outside of that hole that you knock those off too um, so they don't rust Once your holes are drilled, um, you can peel your tape off. Now it's time to install the brackets. You don't have to use silicon, but I would definitely recommend it anytime you drill a hole in the body where you've broken the paint. It's a good idea to seal it so it doesn't rust because water will find its way in there over time. So I just take a little dab of clear silicon and put it in the holes. bolts will pull that through and seal up the inside and the outside of that hole so it's not very likely to rust. <clears throat> the hardware is stainless steel so you don't have to worry about it. It's the, it's the steel in the body you've got to worry about. <clears throat> I'm just going to take a six inch extension and uh, my ratchet to tighten this up. Line that up, make sure your bracket is vertical and uh, get it tight. Don't tighten it up too much, especially if you're using sheet metal screws. You don't want to strip them out because then you've got to drill it out and go to the next biggest size. On this bottom hole I can access the nut to put on that bolt through the tail light housing hole um, but in order to get to it um, I had to use a longer extension I had to put a 12 inch extension and a uh, 
a swivel socket on there. Um, so it might be easier to just use sheet metal screws. Um, you have to judge that for yourself, depends on your truck. This particular truck, it wasn't too bad to do that, but if you don't have, if all you've got is a straight socket, it's gonna be real hard to get that uh, nut tight in there. If you've got swivel sockets, you'll be fine. So it's time to put the tail light back in. And just line up, there's two ears here. Uh, on the front of that tail light and there's two slots. There's two slots in the tail light housing hole right there. Put those in just like that. Make sure your cables aren't pinched. And then it seats right in. And then all you have to do is put the uh, put the two bolts back in. Don't over tighten them because you're tightening them into plastic. You don't want to strip it and crack it. Get that bed liner all back together. Now our brackets are in there and other side's done. We're ready to put in the tailgate net. Okay, the brackets are in, tail lights are all put in, everything's sealed up with silicon. Holds are so no rusting. Now it's time to put in the net. Simple matter of threading the straps through the brackets, making sure they're buckled up. The instructions will probably give you a little diagram of how the strap goes through the buckle. Um, <clears throat> most of these things got a little plastic buckle like that. And what you do is you come through the back side on the in the hole closest to the back of the in the hole closest to the back of the buckle. You come through there, and then you come back through the 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 hole closest to the the end of the buckle, which has got like the little thumb catch on it, and you pull it through like that. That way, it tightens up on itself, and the wind won't pull this thing loose. So, if it doesn't have a diagram, just make sure you do it like that. It should give you a diagram. Usually the buckles will be on the inside of the bed so that they're not visible from the outside. It keeps the straps from being visible. And you can either cut the straps off or just tuck them depending on how your particular uh, net is made. So make sure you got your strap straight off of the net and then thread it through the, through the, the uh, metal bracket that we just installed on the bed. Now we're going to go, we've got this, the strap is straight so it doesn't bind up and chafe. Um, come through the buckle like that and then through the buckle like that. And that way we can adjust it. I'm going to just pull it, cinch it up about halfway and then uh, Go over and do the other side, the other top. Get the get the net hung up straight. Same drill. Get the strap straight. Go through the bracket into the back side of the buckle and then the front side or the whatever you want to call that and then we can tighten that up and the trick will be to uh, to tighten it up to where it's relatively even in the bed opening so that gives me about a 
oh I don't know about an inch two fingers finger widths between the bumper and the edge of that net and it's not quite tight you ought to be able to kind of pluck it like a banjo string when it's tight so I've got a little bit of room left here see so that's that's pretty good I might try to get this a little bit tighter if I can there we go now that puts it just about right and that's good and that's good and snug so it won't uh, flap around in the breeze and then we put in the bottom and or buckle up the bottoms and be done and there you go one tailgate net properly installed nice neat installation it's good and tight so it won't flop around in the breeze and increases your gas mileage and makes your truck look good well thanks for watching my video about how to install a tailgate net i hope it's helpful to you i'm dennis and i'll see you in my next video thanks